you always want your child to respect you but never fear you. A lot of times we get those two things mixed up and you think that they're the same thing but you look at it like it's respect. My child respects me so he wouldn't, he or she wouldn't dare do this, this and this or say this, this and this to me. to be unboxing this a Bentley tricycle these children are just constantly just getting everything but um, we are so grateful we get so many different things so many different gifts and everything from different people yes so today hey where are you going so today I'm going to be unboxing this and attempting to put it together because my fiance is not here he usually does all this Handyman stuff, um, and these kids are just running wild. I'm, I'm gonna hope she doesn't crash mine. Stop! <laughs> go, go that way. I hope Avery doesn't try to try to sabotage my video. Today I'm also going to be chatting with you guys and talking about how I discipline my children. What happened? Hopefully you guys can share your own tips for all the other subscribers and your comments. This is just my way of parenting. So uh, that's just a disclaimer before the video even starts, before we even get into it. I parent how I see fit for my children. And so we're just going to be... Where are you going? <laughs> we're just going to be talking about what I do and different like situations that um, happen within our family and how I handle them. So are you ready? Are you ready to unbox it? Are you ready? Are you ready? This is a stroller. It came from Bentley Trike. You can find them on... I know y'all are like cringing at me opening this. You can find them on Instagram. I'll have all their details, their website links, everything. Everything in the description box. Avery! <laughs> I'm so excited. Ooh, oh, knockers. So guys, lately, I've been getting this question a lot from people, you know, just about like, how do you handle this, this, and this with the children when this happens or, you know, so-and-so, like just different scenarios and whatnot. And... Some of them, like, I thought were extremely interesting, so I really just wanted to share with you guys. How do you deal with when your children are hitting each other? That one is currently going on in my home. So, Avery, the one-year-old, she is extremely feisty, y'all, when I tell you. This girl is feisty. She takes no prisoners, no mess from anybody. She is feisty. But she has a bad habit of when someone tries to take something from her or when someone does something that she doesn't like, she will like pop their hand or smack their face. And for me and her father, mm, not happening. So I'm just gonna say, put a disclaimer out that my kids get spankings, okay? I know, I know, a lot of y'all are like, no, my precious Jay, don't spank her. And I also get, you know, people are like, how do you teach one not to hit by hitting them? 
it's totally different in my opinion it's totally different and I would love just to hear you guys feedback in a respectful manner of course but um I think they're fighting now and so my first tip when your children are fighting with each other or arguing or just not getting along let them work it out see how they use their parents as examples see how they use the ones around them to you know um, help their situation with each other their siblings they're going to fight so just let them be let them fight see if they can figure it out you know without hitting each other of course um, but a lot of times like Jay just wants to say okay Boogie you can have this I'll share with you sometimes Avery's like give me a hug not literally because she's just learning to talk but she'll say hug and she'll go hug Jay and she'll go ah. so let them work it out let them try to figure it out first my next step obviously see what the problem is make sure you go into it and you just ask questions don't go into it pissed off don't go into it upset because they're arguing or they're fighting go into it in a calm manner and just ask the questions like what is going on let each of them tell their little sides but um, just let them tell you what's going on first and then after they tell you what's going on you ask them how should you handle this how can you handle this what should you do to fix the situation if the situation can't be fixed the next step obviously is separate you take some of this you take some of that you know whatever it is that you're fighting about or you go on this side of the room you go in that room just separate them and believe it or not even at the young ages that they are now like they still they already have like these little stats and disputes and sometimes they just need to be separated I have to also remember that Jade is like four years old I'm not even doing this but Jade is like four years old now and Avery's one so sometimes she she honestly just needs a little bit of space and Boogie doesn't understand Jade just wants to play sometimes she wants to play with her little house and she wants to just be in peace and do it by herself so as far as like arguing that's my thought on it this stuff is so cute I'm just like pulling stuff out you guys look at this look it comes with like just little bags and it is so nice it comes with like little bags so I can obviously put like baby stuff in here or even my cell phone I could put anything in here that you know I usually take with me okay so the next question I got was um, how do you handle when your kids get in trouble at school so Jade is in school and I can honestly say I think Jade's had maybe one issue at school since she's been in daycare which has total been about two years but since things have really picked up with her lately um, she goes to school Monday Wednesday and Friday but even then, sometimes we miss like two weeks in a row because we're traveling and um, she's like filming TV shows or doing some kind of pilot or something like that. Uh, but just to be clear, like she's in daycare. She's not in school, like mandatory school. So guys, don't worry. She's not missing out on anything at all. Trust me. And besides, before she even went to school, I was teaching her, which I still teach her now. I believe that, you know, education starts at home. So... You gotta start there. She she had one dispute, and I think it's like when she first started going to school, there's a child that was in her face, and we always tell her, I'm not gonna lie, if someone gets in your face, knock them out. They have been bad parenting then, but you know, I was brought up that way. Like, don't get in my bubble. But so, ooh, and they were trying to take a chair from her, so she like, Popped the little boy right in his face, which like literally slapped his whole entire face. Which he didn't have any scratches. There was nothing major that happened to him. Um, so for the most part, he was okay. But so how I handled that is I went when she got home. I talked to her and I said, Jay, I asked her the question. She's like, What happened at school today? She told me what happened. I said, So why did you do that? Because mom, you told me blah blah blah. So, but I would say. When your children get into trouble, you know, like fighting or anything like that at school, 
I think it's really important that when you get home, you don't just jump down your kid's throat and be like, you did this, this, and this, the teacher had to call me. Really just sit your kids down and just ask them, like, why did you get in trouble? Hear their side. And like I said, I know my child isn't being honest, which is rare because her dad is like hard on her about keeping it 100 and always telling the truth, just stuff like that. Just make sure you're listening to your children. And in no way am I like a perfect mother or anything like that. But, you know, I really pride myself on just trying to understand my children, you know, instead of just... Okay, so look at it like this. You always want your child to respect you, but never fear you. A lot of times we get those two things mixed up and you think that they're the same thing, but you look at it like it's respect. My child respects me, so he wouldn't, he or she wouldn't dare do this, this, and this, or say this, this, and this to me. There's a difference when you really build a relationship with your child and they understand, hey, this person's looking out for my best interest. Hey, this person really loves me. Hey, this person really wants to see me do great in everything that I put my mind to. So I respect this person. I take into consideration everything that they say. Everything that they do, I want to do. I mock their behavior so that, so therefore to be a great example for them. And that's what we try to do with our children on a daily basis. Sometimes, I will say, sometimes I overreact. Sometimes I get upset and I just want to like flip out right then and there. And sometimes I have to even apologize to my child. Like, you know what, Mom, uh, mommy was, is sorry because mommy got so upset and, or mommy yelled at you. Uh, which brings me to my next topic. Apologize to your children. Okay? Like, apologize to your children when you're wrong. We're not perfect. Sometimes we're going to yell at them because we're having a bad day. Sometimes we're going to overreact. Sometimes we're going to jump we're going to jump the gun. And I just want other parents to know, you know, we are not perfect. But also know that it's okay for you to apologize to your children no matter how old they are. I don't want this video to be super long, but I just wanted to share some of my thoughts. But I can definitely come back with a part two because I have a lot more to say. And as you guys can see, I put nothing together. But I'll show you what this looks like in the next slide. So, peace out.